Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 1. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We are here in the town of Vacary. If you remember last episode, we had, last couple episodes, we had been in the Taker town of Kaz. I think we need to go back there again. We had come back to Pentel to report to Leader Rydell the fate of the, his spy who had been captured. And then we had to go back to Bakery to tell the the servile merchant Cole that trade is no longer possible between Bakery and Kaz. So now we need to go back to this side of the woods, as it were. We're going to go to the tribal woods. This is east of Pentel. Here, two roads diverge in a wood. The wood to the north is still mostly intact. The path in that direction is very calm and quiet. The road to the south, on the other hand, has been torn up. From that direction, you can hear the howling and snarling. Huh. So quiet this way, and noisy and full of rogues probably this way. So, let's go this way. I'm starting to wonder, oh, claw bugs. And, it, oh, there's an exploding roamer, or ex unstable roamer, anyway. Oh, yeah. Can we get him? Yes, we can. Oh, that was a good punch. That was an okay punch, I guess. Oops. Come on, all oh, yeah, not just Spitfire. What are you doing? Rut row. Get him. All right. Let's see. No, where? There's another one. Where? Oh, right here. For... Didn't even see him. Oh. Another exploding rumor. Or unstable rumor, anyway. Another claw bug. Oh, another unstable rumor. Ah! Come on. Get down here. You guys are not being very helpful. You're probably not trying to be either. <laughs> More claw bugs. <sighs> Come on. Good. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, you get out of the way. No, nope. wrong button. I mean, I hit the button when I wasn't supposed to. Ow. You stupid. Oh, another dang exploding armor. Hmm. Actually, you go this way. There's probably spawners somewhere in here, to be honest. Oh, you dummy. Oh well, that's fine. Uh oh. Spawners. 
They look like those funky mutant pineapples. Ah, dang it. Here, you go over here. Punch that one. And you... Let's use this spell. Bless everybody. Oh, more claw bugs, more claw bugs. Oh, uh, there's probably two more spawners right over there, too. Dooby dooby doo. much for that guy. Uh-oh. Exploding rumor. Get him! Right here! Yeah, good shot! And you- oh no, oh darn it. Oh well, go over here. That was a great fireball. Good job. Kind of surprising. Eh, you come over here. Over there and shoot it. Oh, okay. It's like, where did that happen? Right here. These thoughts are still pretty handy, even at this point in the game. It's kind of interesting. I don't know when I'm going to actually want to replace them with claw bugs. There's another one down. some dead serviles over here. That wasn't a very good fireball. Ouch. Down he goes. And down he goes. Alright, well that was, that was pretty pretty handy. I think these thoughts are pretty useful still, so, I don't know. And claw bugs cost a fair bit more than they do. Some jewels, or gemstones. There's a mica band. Fine cloak. We'll take it. Chitin armor, we'll leave it. Or chitin armor, whatever. This servile had no arms or armor when it died. It just has a bunch of junk that it was scavenging when it got ambushed. Most of the trash in its sack is worthless to you. However, you are intrigued by a small rusty key, so you pocket it. A rusty key. Huh. Chit armor and a null wand. Let's go over here. More gemstones and javelins, big deal. Okay, how about these? Batons. Thorn baton, worthless. Bronze sword, we can take it. We'll sell it. Thorn baton. How about you over here? Thorn baton, bronze. It's probably not worth anything. Forget it. 
Probably drop that bronze sword back. And this fine cloak, bunch of garbage by this point. Wooden shield, fine cloak, and some gemstones. If someone came here, they could get a decent basic um, set of gear just in this little clearing. There's armor, a fine cloak, wooden shields, thorn batons, <laughs> javelins, bronze swords, everything. And there was a bunch of gemstones too, but I took them all. Alright, well that was pretty pretty easy. Alright, how about down here? Oh, and another dead servile. Robe, acid baton, we'll take that. Acid baton. Uh oh. Rot row. Acid thorns. Hmm. Looks like I'm out of space. I will have to come back. I'm carrying too many things. It's not my weight limit that's got me, but rather just my inventory limit. Well, that's not helpful. I guess we can just go to town real quick. Maybe, maybe there's... We'll just check up here first. Do 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 do. Do be do be do. Oh! There's a servile. The village guard. A servile walks boldly up to you. This specimen is a savage creature clothed in a tattered, scavenged robe. Its face is covered with tattoos and scars. Its eyes betray no knowledge of who or what you are. When the feral creature begins to speak, you also find that it has lost most of its capacity for speech. And it says, You! Back! Come our way no more, or we kill! You notice that its sword is bloody, and there is the head of a roamer hanging from, its, from a nearby branch. This must have been a... Bah. They must have been fighting a lot of rogues lately. <laughs> we have some a bunch of options. We can say, I want to know about know more about these woods. He's gonna probably tell us to get lost. Or we can say, Don't you dare challenge me, vermin! Oh wow. So we can become, you know, what is it? Uh, savage and unhinged and, you know, lose our capacity for speech. Or we can say, Alright, I will leave. <laughs> or we can say, we can hold out our hands. Peace, me pass, no hurt, no fight. Um, he might just get insulted, or maybe it's a uh, ne negative there, Ghost Rider. Or we can point at the rumor head, rogue, fight rogue. Let's do that. Let's ask him if they're fighting those. Yes, rogue bad. We hate rogue. Rogue kill us. Point at itself. I kill rogues. Rogue's dead. His eyes get white. You, you kill rogue. You good. You help. You welcome here. Good, good. All right, another question. Um, uh, yeah, okay. He, we're okay, but he has no idea what we're saying beyond just basic things. We welcome. All right, well, thank you. See, it, I guess it paid off that we killed all those dang rogues. You enter the Servile Tribe's humble village. They've carved themselves out a little home inside the ubiquitous shape of ruins. It looks like they manage a subsistence lifestyle out of fishing and failing to grow crops. Well, you know, that's not too much worse than everybody else here, I suppose. The tribal servile looks at you with curiosity. They have never seen a shaper. You doubt they've ever heard of you, even heard of shapers. Any issues of who created them or why are completely foreign to them. It is a strange thought. Given enough time, they would build their own civilizations and their own philosophies, and you would have no place in them at all. At any rate, the, cre the creatures can't speak well enough to converse with you in any meaningful way, so you move on. Um, let's see. Tribal Serviles. Is anybody here? Any tribal leader or tribal merchants? We welcome. Well, thank you very much. You? Nope. Same old, same old. We welcome. Well, it's better than we do not welcome, I suppose. Ah, uh, some shaper records that I care. Throw it in the garbage. <laughs> Put it in the mulch pile. Hmm. 
All right. Nope, nope. Anybody? Anybody? There has to be some. No, there doesn't actually. How about you? No, it's just uh, another random tribal servile who doesn't really give two shakes about shapers and anything else. Oh wait, this one, maybe, are you a merchant? A tribal merchant, yes. Barbaric or no, the serviles on this island need to trade. The, the tribe, yeah. This tribe seems to have had quite a bit of luck scavenging. The merchant can barely speak a word of your tongue, but you don't need that to do barter. Uh, tell me of your village? No talk, trade, yes, trade, trade. You have the sneaking suspicion that those are the only words that this creature knows. Trade? The crude little tribesman only knows four words that he tells you anyways. I mean, you know, but then maybe this is what Evodius suspects. But he sure knows how to drive a hard bargain. Bargaining with him is not enjoyable in the least. Huh. He has ex exorbitant prices. Not the worst, they're not utterly ridiculous, but they're not good either. What does he have? Oh, he has shaped boots. Dang. Do we have shape boots already? I think we do, but I'm not sure. Healing spores, those are good. Living tools. Let's sell him these jewels. Oh, he has no money. Never mind. Huh. Well. Hmm. Anything to buy? Why don't we buy we'll buy these two essence pods? Now we can sell him these jewels. Yay, jewels. And this rod and these spores. Hmm. Alright, cool. That's all for now, thanks. Uh oh, there's a canister. Let's get it. No, oh, create artilla. Oh, I wonder if we can make a special artilla now. No? Artilla? No, no we can't. Do we have only two levels of artilla? Let's see, abilities. Create artilla. Oh yeah, we only have two levels of create artilla. I thought we had three now. Hmm, nope, we do not. All right, cool. Well, there's the second level if you want to make keep on making artillas at this point. I'm not sure why you would. I mean, maybe if you wanted to have an artilla, that'd be fine, but or a more advanced artilla. But the game does not allow you, if you recall, to have more than more than three types of cre creations at any one time in your party. I guess if you were just focusing on like magic and one other type of creation like magic and battle, let's say. You could have battle alphas, or like, you know, claw bugs, blish, and upgraded artillas. That would be interesting, I guess. But since I have all the different types of creation, which, I don't know, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe it'd be a better idea to specialize to some degree. This would lead us to the icy tunnels, but we're not gonna go there right now. So let's go down here. Up, oh, more rogues. More rogues. Hey, get over here. Yep. Get over. Get over here. It's always good to sort of engage the unstable rumors before they have a chance to close with you. Yep, gone. What's over here? Nothing. How about over here? I think a thorn bush. Whoop de doo! Thorns. Venom thorn and big deal. There's no point to even have those really in the game at this point because no, there's no reason to use venom thorns or venom batons at this stage of the game. <sighs> it's kind of a waste. It's too weak. 
All right, this leads to holding two. Now, it's interesting because there's two ways to get to holding two, this way, and then there's we could go from cause to, to east cause and then to holding two. But the problem with that is if you don't have permission from, if you don't get the mission from uh, Amina, no, not Amina, um, oh, the whatever, so-and-so blade, they're the, the guard leader in cause to go and kill the rogue um, shall I if you don't get that mission you won't have permission to go through the gate on East cause and if you try to go through it without permission the guards the, all the guards will attack you and it's a fair number of them and they're pretty strong as far as it goes but let's go back to where we are tribal woods oh no not this way let's go up oh, wait, no, maybe. yeah right up here Oh, dang blast it. Dang blast it. Ow. That was a- oh geez, there's a lot of them. You see them? There's a lever over there. Let's see if we can't do this right. Yeah! That is how you- that's how you do it. Unstable rumors are pretty useless for you to make. You can make them if you get the upgraded roamer, but I have no... I don't understand why you would want to. They're a big waste. Unless, of course, you're just make, playing some really ruthless shaper or whatnot. Healing pod, speed pod, essence pod. Who just sits by an essence pool and makes, you know, was it roamer, exploding roamers to send at your enemies? That's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of messed up. And the spell we got was Mass Energize, which is a really good spell. Let's look at our abilities. I can see why that was locked up. That's a, here. No, not Mass Restore. Mass Energize. Makes all nearby allies more effective in combat and heals some of their damage. This demanding spell can only be cast when there are no enemies nearby. Blessing, Magic, and Spellcraft skill make this more effective. It's basically, you know, it just it heals people, everyone, and blesses them and makes them better in combat. Although it is really expensive, and you can't cast it during battle. You do have to be out of battles. But if you know you're having a very powerful enemy or a big fight coming up, it can be useful. I don't know. Maybe it's not as useful as I would like it to be, but, you know, whatever. Oh, jeez. Come on, dude. What are you idiots doing? My creations are being little idiots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we are. We tried really hard. Yeah, you tried really hard to run around in circles. Running in circles is hard. What, what are you doing, you little idiot? Oh, maybe he's stunned. Jeez. All right. Bot number one. Anybody over here? Nobody. All right. In here? What is here? No, 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 no! Not you by yourself. Never go by yourself, dummy. Never lock yourself in a wardrobe, stupid. Okay. Here's an essence pool and a healing pool. Alright, that's great. whoop de do. It's kind of silly because there's no need for one to be here. I mean, maybe in ancient times, this place needed one there. I guess maybe this is a useful shaper area. I imagine it was. It probably didn't have these these trees either. 
But as far as gameplay wise, there's no point for that to even be here because this is a very easy area. And we are almost done. I just wanted to grab that baton so we can sell it. B. Alright, cool. Anywhere else to go? I do not think so. Alright, cool. I don't know if there's much... I don't know what significance this servile, st story-wise, in this game, this little servile tribe plays. Maybe if you do stuff with the takers, they come into play, I don't know. But yeah, in the later games we'll see a lot more of these tribal serviles. Only they won't be so friendly. You know, let's actually go right here to that merchant right outside of Kazk. Okay. Oh, there's the, the guards outside of Kazk. I think next episode we'll explore around here. They won't attack us for now since we are on decent terms. Well, we're on diplomatic terms with, was it, uh, Norl, the leader? Here, let's trade. Sell that. Anything else to sell? Spray crystal. Swarm crystal. Ensnaring crystal. Eh. Not yet. Icy crystals. I'm gonna sell these. There we are. They're not worth that much now. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot I even have this. A rod of battle. You can bless your whole group with it. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to him one more time. Trade. Anything I want to buy? Speed pod. Healing pod. Eh, not really. Alright, sorry, Arth. Alright, cool. Well, I guess we can just save right here, since next time we will be exploring this area, the Cause Ruins. Thank you for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Geneforge 1 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.